Osteoarthritis is the most common type of arthritis. It is caused by a loss of the cartilage covering the ends of the bone. This can result in the bones rubbing against each other, causing pain, warmth, and swelling. NSAID stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And NSAIDs are the most widely used type of medication to treat arthritis. They are helpful in relieving pain and swelling in the affected joints. Now, like all medications, they do have some risks you should be aware of. Two important side effects associated with NSAIDs are related to your gastrointestinal and cardiovascular systems. NSAIDs can irritate the stomach. This can result in stomach pain, nausea, and rarely vomiting. Now, some people have milder symptoms like heartburn or indigestion. Others may develop rare but more serious ulcers that can create holes in the stomach lining or block the stomach passageway or cause bleeding. This can lead to black or bloody stools. Taking NSAIDs can cause cardiovascular effects such as an increase in blood pressure or swelling of the legs. They can also worsen a condition called congestive heart failure. People who've had a recent heart attack or stroke or who have experienced serious chest pain from heart disease should not take NSAIDs. Now, when considering the risks of any medicine, it's important to think about it in the context of other risks we face every day. Let's imagine a city of 100,000 people with no risk factors for peptic ulcers. Now, let's assume nobody in this city takes an NSAID. If we followed these people for a year, about 200 would develop a serious GI problem. So you can see that people develop serious ulcers and bleeding even without NSAID use. Now let's imagine again that NSAIDs were prescribed to every single one of our inhabitants in our city of 100,000 people. The number of serious GI ulcers or bleeds would increase to about 1,600 in that year. But there are a couple of key points to remember. Number one, stomach protectors called proton pump inhibitors or PPIs can reduce the risk of serious GI problems like ulcers by up to 60%. Number two, even with every single person taking NSAIDs, 98,400 would have no serious GI problems. NSAIDs or not, 98% of our population who have no other risk factors will have no serious GI issues. That means NSAIDs are pretty safe in people with no risk factors. Now, since NSAIDs do increase risk a little bit, you should think of other things that also increase risk, because risk can add up. Talk to your doctor if any of the following apply to you. You're older than 75. You've had GI bleeding before. You're taking multiple NSAIDs, including low-dose aspirin. You're taking blood thinners such as Coumadin or Warfarin. The bottom line is it is still quite rare to have a serious GI side effect when taking an NSAID. In fact, people can have serious GI problems when not taking NSAIDs. Protecting the stomach with a PPI is important in high-risk individuals, but it doesn't offer perfect protection. Plus, that protection relies on taking the PPI exactly as prescribed. Let's take that same city of 100,000 people who aren't taking any NSAIDs. In the year, about 820 can be expected to have a heart attack. If we give each of those people an NSAID, then the risk of a heart attack would increase to about 900. Now this is a pretty minor increase. Compare this with some more traditional risk factors for heart disease, such as smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. Now if our entire population had uncontrolled high blood pressure, the number of heart attacks would increase to about 1,870. If the same number of people smoked, the number of heart attacks would go up to about 1,330. So you can see that smoking and high blood pressure increase the risk of heart attack a lot more than taking an NSAID. But there's an important point. If everyone in our city took NSAIDs for a year, then 99,100 would not have any serious problems. NSAIDs or not, over 99% of our population would have no issues. However, it's really important to think about those at highest risk for cardiovascular problems. This risk would increase for those who smoke, those with high blood pressure, those with diabetes, those with high cholesterol, and those with a family history of heart disease. Remember, the risk of having any GI or cardiovascular side effect from any NSAID is relatively low. The risk for GI problems tends to be higher as we get older, over the age of 75, 
if we're taking multiple NSAIDs, if we've had a prior GI bleed, or if we're taking blood thinners like warfarin or Coumadin. For a cardiovascular condition, the risk obviously increases for people who have had a recent heart attack or stroke event or have active angina. The risk would also be increased with people with traditional risk factors for heart disease, including smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and those with a family history of heart disease. Now, if you're taking any NSAID for your arthritis, be vigilant. Learn as much as you can about your condition and the medications you're taking. Know which side effects to look out for and report them to your healthcare provider. If you have any concerns, be sure to speak about them with your doctor or nurse. Now, we hope this video has been helpful. For more information about osteoarthritis and the medications used to treat OA, please visit our website www.roominfo.com.